if you type up any sort of communication, then you'll want to make sure that you use correct spelling, punctuation, and grammar. And even if the English language is not a big deal to you, you at least want to make sure you appear halfway intelligent and also clear in your communication. So that way people understand what you're trying to say. Whether you are typing up a Word document or sending an email, I encourage you to use these two functions in Microsoft Word. One function is a spell check and the other function is the read aloud option. To do these in your Word document, you go to the review tab and when you click on review, these are the options that will appear across the top of your ribbon. One option I'm referring to is a spell check and that's where you click check document and you can run all the way through. Microsoft Word will bring up spelling errors and grammar errors. And normally you already have a hint that you have some errors because you'll see little red lines underneath the text. So if I had misspelled, let's say, time, then you'll see that little red line underneath. So that would warn me right away that I have some errors. But you'll notice that I don't have any red squiggly lines under here, so everything must be correct, right? Hmm, maybe not. And that's where the read aloud function comes in. Sometimes we are in such a hurry that our brains are thinking faster than our hands can type, and we either leave out words or put the incorrect words in there, and spell check doesn't always catch that. When you use the read aloud function, this is how you can catch those types of mistakes that could lead to miscommunication. Here we go, up at the top, read aloud under this speech option. Here we go. Time management is all about mind management. This is mantra that I preach to my individual. Uh oh, this is mantra. Hmm, it should be this is the mantra. So all I did to stop the read aloud was to click read aloud again, and I could go back and add in the word that was left out. I'm going to go back to the beginning of this sentence now and click on read aloud. This is the mantra that I preach to my individual clients as well as my keynote, breakout session, and training audiences. When you realize that your brain your key productivity weapon. When you realize that your brain is. Let me go back to the beginning of the sentence. When you realize that your brain is your key productivity weapon, you'll be able to fend off all of the time thieves in your work life and personal life. These time thieves can be humans or activities that suck up our time, and we either don't realize or don't want to deal with changing the situation. Hmm, that sounds a little awkward. And we either don't real I realize it. I think I'm going to add that in there. And we either don't realize it or don't want to deal with changing the situation. Time management is all about mind management. You can tell your time what do. Mm, what do? What to do? So let's just double check that. You can tell your time what to do. Helene Segura, author of The Inefficiency Assassin, Time Management Tactics for Working Smarter, Not Longer. And there we go. This is a blurb that I'm supposed to turn into a journalist. So can you imagine if I had turned in the original version to the journalist? Oftentimes, some writers, depending on their publication, will just simply copy and paste whatever a source has sent them and not completely proofread it. So that's why it's really important that whatever you turn in, whether it's to a publication or to a client, you proofread it and you've used the read aloud option to make sure that everything is clear. <laughs>